More women are running for office than ever before in our nation's history. But that doesn't mean it's enough. In fact, only 19.5% of seats in Congress are held by women, and America has only six female governors. Research shows we're elected and re-elected at the same rate as men. When we actually run for office, we win. And there are a lot of opportunities to run for office. 519,682 elective offices in the United States alone. Many of these positions are being held by incumbents who are running unopposed over and over again. That's where you come in. So because we believe in you and your ability to change the world, here's how to get started on your first political run. Step one, qualify as a candidate where you live. If you're running at the local level, city commissioner, city council, mayor, and so on, call your town clerk or county clerk or check out their websites and ask how you can get started. If you're going state or national, that information will be in a centralized location like your state's government website. A quick Google search or call to your state's government offices should get you there. Step two, pick your issues, then start a movement. You're running because you have a unique voice and you're ready to make a change. What issues are most important to you, but also most important to your community? Keep it simple by focusing your campaign on a few core issues that can truly resonate with voters. Step three, raise that money. If you want to run for office, you're going to need some cash. Set a budget. Are you hiring a campaign manager? And if so, how much do they cost? How many mailers will you send out? How many business cards and yard signs will you need to have made? Then it's time to start fundraising to meet your goal. I know it sounds daunting, but you need to believe in yourself enough to look at someone directly in the eye and ask them to invest in you. You can also crowdfund online. Crowdpack is like Kickstarter, but for politics. Step four, get yourself out there. If you wanna run for office, you need to pound the pavement. Knock on doors, introduce yourself. It's free and it makes an impression. Do anything and everything you can think of to meet the people who will end up voting for you. Listen to them, hear them. You're going to represent them. To the smart, powerful, hurt, angry, strong, and resilient woman watching this, you can run for office. The truth is there are thousands, if not millions, of other women out there who desperately want you to succeed. Other women who will donate to your campaigns, share your social media posts, and when the time comes, march themselves down to City Hall to cast their vote for you. You've already marched, now you should run. Happy International Women's Day.